Lane Hurt and Seminoles.com here with new offensive coordinator Kendall Bryles. Kendall, let's start with being here in Florida State, the adjustment period, kind of getting your family here and everything. How has everything been going getting to Florida State? Um, I've settled down now. It's been a whirlwind uh, since I got here. I got here January 1st and was here for a couple weeks and meeting with Coach Taggart and the rest of the staff and getting prepared for recruiting and just got my family here the week weekend before signing day. So. Um, got my, my two oldest in school, third grade and first grade. They're going to, to Florida High. And um, got a younger three-year-old, so he's not in school yet. But everybody's settled. Tallahassee's been very welcome, welcoming. All the people here are really, really nice. And I'm excited about spring ball around the corner. When Coach Taggart initially approached you uh, about this offensive coordinator position, why was it attractive to you? Why was Florida State a place that you thought might work for you? Well, I respect Coach Taggart, first of all. Um, I followed him and had a chance to meet with him um, several years back. He came, came by Baylor and we had a chance to, to get to know each other a little bit there. And I've kind of kept up over the years. And then, you know, obviously him being back here at Florida State and how big of a deal that is, uh, him being a Florida native and uh, just the respect that I have for him. And then obviously Florida State, you know, when I think of Florida State, I think of Deion Sanders, you know, hiding in, in the end zone with his hand behind his head. and. You know, uh, all those players in the 90s and Coach Bowden and the teams that they fielded. Um, so it's just a big time program. I think it's a top 10 job and um, I feel like it's heading in the right direction. I want to be part of it. How would you describe your offensive system and how does it mesh with what Coach Taggart ha has run previously? Yeah, uh, Coach Taggart, I know, you know, he wants to be spread. He wants to be able to go fast. And I think, um, you know, I'm going to be able to give him what he wants because um, that's, that's what we like to do offensively. I mean, the number one thing you want to do on offense when you don't talk about scheme and all the other things you want to produce. Um, so I don't, you know, I don't care if we run 100 plays and we don't play well, that's not good. We want to be able to produce on the field and uh, give our guys the best opportunities to do that. So uh, we're going to spread, we're going to throw the ball down the field, we're going to tempo, uh, we're going to run the ball, and we're going to be very balanced in what we do. We'll get our guys playing at a high level. Are there specific types of players that you like, but it, I mean, it does seem like you've had success a lot of different ways with different types of quarterbacks, even a legendary game against North Carolina with no real quarterbacks. Yep. Is there something that you like from, from, a, from a player specifically? Well, guys that produce, okay, I always go back to that. Um, but it's our job as coaches to, to put guys in the best situation. So one of the things that uh, I've kind of moved around a little bit here, and I hope to, to be in one place for a while now, but um, the thing that we always look for is, is how do we fit our system around the players that we have and the personnel that we have. So that's the first thing that you do. So going through the chase right now, getting to see those guys move, and you know, there's not any balls, but um, you get to see the way that they move, the guys that can compete. And I'm not gonna come in and say, this is a system, learn it. We're gonna make sure that we fit it around our best personnel, that way we get our best guys the ball. And, um, and that's what we've done the last couple of years. So I think that that'll have a chance to be productive. Let's discuss some of the players that Florida State does have, starting yep. with the quarterback room. James Blackman, the, the, re, the most experienced returner mm -hmm. here. What are your impressions of, of James when you get to spend a little bit of time with him? A uh, really sharp kid, really eager to learn. Um, you can tell that he's a guy that comes to work every single day. Uh, his consistency and uh, really with, with any Division One football player, that's a, that's a big deal being consistent, but especially in the quarterback room. And uh, that kid's consistent on a daily basis every time that I've been around him. And um, I think he's a guy that is going to pull other people with him. It's like having a great point guard in basketball makes everybody else better. I feel like he's going to have that same intangible on the field. So I'm excited to work with him, and I think he's got some talent to go along with it. What expectations do you have from your quarterbacks, whether from a communication standpoint, from what you expect from them on the field during a game in those situations? Yeah, I mean, we expect those guys to, you know, when you're talking about on the field, so play like they practice. Um, and, and unless you're doing everything right on a daily basis from, from good habits to showing up meetings on time to you know, paying attention to what's going on, then obviously you know, practicing at a high level, all that should work itself out. And on game day, you go have fun. So my expectations on game days is just have fun and play the game because you put in all the work and, and you know where you should be and I know where they should be. So uh, at that point, it's just going out there and playing. But uh, definitely expectations are high from uh, on and off the field. Uh, daily living from the quarterback position. From the running backs, Cam Akers, the most experienced guy, but there's a room full of talent. What do you see for, from, from those guys? Um, I, I love the way they look. I mean, just watching those guys out there uh, at the chase, 
uh, Cam, I think he brings uh, the right kind of mentality that you want. Um, and then, then the, the other guys, A.G. and, and LeBourne, those guys are uh, really athletic. They're thick. And uh, I think they got great lateral movement as well as far as having good size and thickness to be able to be durable. Um, and I think all those guys have ball skills. Uh, so I'm, I'm really excited to work with them. The wide receivers, you had Tamori and Terry who had a breakout year last year as a, a big physical guy. Yep. Some of your smaller guys, the DJ Matthews, the Keyshawn Heltons, the Treshawn Harrisons. What do yep. you see from that room and, and those guys? Yeah, um, you know, KG being the only senior, but uh, I think that room's explosive. I mean, I've been around some really good receiver rooms, and, um, and I see a lot of guys, first of all, that, that have a chip on their shoulder. And that, that's what I like about really this entire team, and I think the way that the, the program is moving with Coach Taggart is these guys aren't happy, you know, about, about where they've been. They're not excited about just walking around wearing a Florida State jersey or shirt. They want to win, and they're uh, they're very eager to do that. They want to learn, and uh, that receiver room in general, those guys have an edge to them, and uh, and that's what you want in that room. And the good thing is, there's a lot of really good players, and so you're going to have stiff competition. So those guys have got to compete at a high level every single day, um, and they've got a lot of talent uh, to back that up as well. So I'm I'm real excited about where those guys are at. For the the tight ends, first off, as an offensive coordinator, how do you like to deploy your tight ends? And then second, guys like Trey McKitty, Cam yep. McDonald, what do you see from them and how they fit? Yeah, you know, Trey's the most experienced guy. Um, and, you know, we, like I said earlier, we'll, we'll make the tight end fit, whatever fits his ability the best. Uh, but I see Trey being the guy that can, uh, can be in the backfield, could put his hand in the dirt, can line up at receiver. I think he can do a bunch of different things. And I think Coach Tiger did that with him last year. Uh, but he's, he's got great mentality talking with him one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, seems like a very, very uh, smart kid. And, um, and that's good for our offense because that guy's got to process things pretty fast. But he's got some physicality about him. Well, I think he's 247 pounds right now. So I'm excited about Trey and, and his future and getting to work with him this spring. The offensive line faced a lot of scrutiny last season. Coming in, what do you what do you do with that group, and what do you see from that group? Obviously, a lot of new faces too coming in from from the recruiting class. Yeah, I mean, last year was last year. It's clean slate, so you know everybody. For me, and my perspective is you know today and moving forward. It's it's not what what the past has been. So all the focus in that room not now is just getting strong, getting mobile, making sure our body weights are, are where they should be. And then we're getting into the part now of, of being able to start talking a little bit of football and getting to that, that aspect of it. So when we do start spring ball, then those guys have a pretty good grasp of where we're at and what we can do because, um, you know, it happens in a hurry for them. You know, we're, our tempo is going to be high. They're not going to have a whole lot of time to think and figure out what's going on. So we want to run plays pretty quick. So um, I'm excited about those guys. I think same thing. They're, they're ready to prove, you know, everybody talks about um, them not – maybe holding holding up their end last year so those guys are, are ready to get out there and go to work what are your biggest priorities once spring ball starts as far as working with the offense what do you want them to get out of these 15 practices um you know we want to get make sure our mechanics and and what we are trying to do from a mechanical standpoint you know getting the signals getting the play making the calls doing all those things and we're going to have the i think the athletes uh so that part of it's going to come but um you want to develop uh, that chemistry offensively, um, especially in the throw game, and then and then making sure that we fit our personnel that fits our schemes the best, and making sure we have the guys in the right position. We don't want to put a guy in a position where he's not comfortable, or it's not the best thing for Florida State football. So we make sure that we, we do a good job as coaches of playing up to our personnel and getting our guys in the right position to help us be successful. Um, and then we want to we want to go out there and have fun and compete at a high level on a daily basis. So you only get 15 of them, so um, got to make them count. What's it like coming to a school like Florida State with the history and the tradition? Is that exciting to you to be a part of that and having a chance to, to make your mark at a school like Florida State? Absolutely. And I don't want to look at it as making my mark. I want, I want to help Coach Taggart be the best head football coach in the country. And, and I want to help uh, these players get to enjoy being successful because of all the hard work that they're putting in right now. And those guys got, got a high, high load uh, socially and academically and playing the game and having to do all the things that they do. Um, so it needs to be fun, and the way you make it fun is to win. So what I want to do is, is gain a lot of chemistry offensively within the staff and with our, our football players so we're really, really confident when we take the field. That way we can go be successful so we can enjoy uh, the fruits of our labor. 
All right, well, thanks for taking some time with us today, Coach. It's uh, nice to speak with you, and uh, we we'll look forward to see what you have uh, come spring practice. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Go Knowles. Go Knowles.